What's up YouTube? How are you doing? Chana D, your techno dad here, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to update your TCL 55P607 Roku TV to add full array with local dimming to game mode. It's a real cool addition and you're going to want to do this. And we're going to check it out right after the jump. And I'm back. Now before we begin, if this is the kind of content you're looking for on YouTube, you should consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. Now I need you guys to sit tight through this video because there's a tip at the end that's going to tell you exactly why you need to do this. And it's going to be like me dropping a huge bomb and it's going to blow your mind. Stay tuned for that. Well the whole selling point on this LED TV with full array and local dimming is that it has better blacks than edge lit LCD TV that you can buy on the market. But when in game mode, you can't turn it on. TCL did a firmware update, which is not automatic. You actually have to go to their website, put it on a thumb drive, get into the TV, and then do some other codes and stuff on the laptop for the update to start running. I'm gonna walk you through all of that today. Now before we jump on the computer and do the update, if you have the TCL 55P605, all these instructions will be just about the same. The difference between the 605 and the 607 that I have is that the 605 is exclusive to Best Buy and the 607 is exclusive to Amazon. That and the remote control on the Amazon one is a little bit different. That's pretty much all the differences. The picture quality, the settings, the adjustments, they're all identical on both sets. If you're thinking about buying a budget 4K TV in 2017, either right now or at the upcoming holiday, you should definitely check out this TCL 55P607. And if you are serious about buying, please use my affiliate link down in the description. It gives me a small commission and helps the channel grow. So let's jump on the computer and see what we need to do. All right. All right, how to update the software on your TCL Roku TV. You will need a USB flash drive with 256 megabytes or larger. And it says you have to use the internet browser on your computer and go to update.roku.com. So let's go there. So here we are now, step one, choose your TV brand. So let's go to TCL. Okay. Now we have to find the Roku model number, which can be found on setting system and about screen. Okay, so we go to, okay. Now the model number is down at the very bottom here, right above my email address, which I have blocked out. 7103X, and I would imagine, I mean, that's a model number that should be the same for yours. The Roku model number is four numbers followed by a letter. So in this example, it's 7103X. Okay, got that. Now hit next. Confirm your Roku TV is TCL model 55P605 or 55P607, is this correct? Confirm. Okay. Download the latest software onto a USB hard drive. So download software, 85 megabytes, it's downloading. Okay, so we have insert a flash drive and copy the update.roku file from your computer to the top level directory of the USB flash drive. Once the transfer is complete, remove the USB flash drive from your computer and connect it to the USB port of your Roku TV. So basically the USB drive should be formatted in FAT32 or anything MS-DOS. So it can't be um, a Mac OS. Okay, there it is, update.rokuTV, let's eject. Using the remote control, press home button and select settings, system, settings, system, system update. All right, here we go, USB update, there we are. You have plugged in a USB device containing Roku software. I gotta type this in. Am I recording? S Q eight W E W T Y E K V Y. Okay, now I get a code. I need to hit next. Six digit code. F H B V X Y. Hit OK. 
And there we go. Now it's updating. Sweet. Okay. Here we are. Let's go to HMI 1. All right, so let's check it out. Advanced picture settings. Local dimmies on high already. Let's turn on game mode. Okay. And we should have, yep, local contrast, and low, medium, and high. Auto adjust black level a lot for the screen's local dimming zones. Sweet. All right. All right, here's with FALD on. All right, so that seemed relatively painless, right? Well, actually, there was kind of a hiccup while I was making the video. The problem was I was connected to the internet already via Wi-Fi. I could not disconnect, and that caused a huge problem. So what I ended up having to do was reset the TV to defaults, and as it restarted and it wanted to connect to a network, I said, skip this part. So then I went to system, system update, and I finally was able to get the option I needed, which was I can't connect. So when I hit I can't connect, then the TV searched the USB stick for the Roku update file. It found the file and then started the update. This is probably something you're gonna wanna do before you even connect to the internet. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be like me and reset to defaults, and then you're gonna need to redo everything, like renaming your inputs, setting up your inputs, all that kind of nonsense. And you don't wanna do that. So I would recommend this to be the first thing you do. So finally, we got the full array local dimming working with game mode on. Forza Horizons 3 looks great. Horizon Zero Dawn looks great. This full array with local dimming is awesome. Now, now I'm gonna give you this one tip that nobody knows about, nobody's talking about, only me. I really do not like the soap opera effect. And in these budget TVs, Sometimes they're not huge on settings, meaning you can't set a few things here and there. So like the clear motion or true motion or whatever you call it, it's that 120 hertz nonsense soap opera effect that I hate. You can't turn it off in this TV. However, when you are in game mode, all the processing is turned off, meaning the upscaling is turned off and the clear motion or true motion is turned off. Why is this important? Because now that we have done this FALD with game mode, now we can get a great picture 
without any processing with full array and local dimming. That's the key. It's, it's, uh, let that sink in. Let that just go all over your brain. Let that marinate. Now we've got this full 72 zones of the local dimming working on all your inputs without clear motion and without upscaling. Because on these lower end TVs, your upscaling and your clear motion, true motion crap, doesn't really work that well. And I've noticed watching 1080i from DirecTV Box, it's not that good. When I reset the TV or first turned on the TV, it didn't look that good. But when I turned on game mode, it looked better. And then after this update, game mode on, full array local dimming on high, boom, boom, bam. This TV is now looking hot, hot. For $649, this thing's a no-brainer. That pretty much wraps up this video. If you liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your Techno Dad, and I'll see you next time.